Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonorai from Glad Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you what is a scope box in Revit and what is the function and uses of the scope box and what is the difference between a scope box and a section box in Revit. So let's begin. I am going to the definition of the scope box and you can see this definition here that scope boxes are used to control the extents of elements elements like grids, labels and reference planes. So you can uh, draw scope boxes in your grids, labels and reference planes. You can draw anywhere in your plan view, elevation view, but you cannot draw scope boxes in a 3D view. So if you try to draw scope boxes in 3D view, it will be in a grid line. So after drawing in your plan view, you can control the scope boxes in a 3D view. You cannot directly draw in a 3D view. And next, each of these elements can be assigned to a specific scope box limiting the 3D extents to the dashed green line limit. So if you will suppose you are drawing in your uh, residential project or any of the project and you are drawing scope boxes in a plan view, suppose in front part, so that part only will be visible in 3D view if you will turn on the scope box in properties palette. So this is the function of the scope box if you move to your next slide you can see that you can create a scope boxes in a plan view only after a scope box is created you can change its size and position in 3d view so you cannot directly draw in 3d view you have to first draw a scope box in plan view only. hope it will be clear to you in a plan view click view tab create panel scope box on the option bar enter a name and specify a height for the scope box so you can see this is the plan view here and this is one of the scope box suppose this is a wing a and this is a wing b so there are two scope boxes so you have to draw in your plan view and then you can add it in a 3d view this is the function of this scope boxes next i am going to move into next slide so we will understand the first difference between a scope box and a section box so many of the users have confusion between when to use section box and when to use a scope box so if you look at the difference a scope box cannot be used to control the extents of visibility in a 3d view only in plan section and elevation so after drawing in plan elevations and sections you can control in 3d view you cannot directly draw a scope box in 3d view but a section box can control the extent of visibility in a 3d view this helps to make the model rotate in a 3d view without portions of the model going beyond the range of a crop region this is my purpose in asking for the clarification so can uh, draw section box in a 3d view but a scope box you can draw in plan view elevation view section view and then it will be visible in a 3d view so scope box is used for larger projects and more detailed works and section box you can draw in a 3d view and th this is the difference between scope box and section box so now let us understand this in our project so i'm going to my uh, the school project here this is a school project and there are at some data line and there are a lot of dimensions and suppose if you want to send your drawing to the side in part by part suppose your contractor is asking that i want drawing of reception areas first because it is more detailed we need to understand more uh, clarification is needed on this and suppose if you want to send the uh, scope boxes and areas for toilet areas you can use the scope boxes and your your part also you can send it so whatever the detail if you want to uh, separate in wings you can use the scope boxes so you can see uh, if you go to your view tab you can see this is the symbol of the scope boxes here and if you go to your 3d view here if I'm going to view, you can see this scope box is grayed out. So first we have to draw in your plan view, your scope boxes. But if you go to your uh, section box here, you can directly start in 3D view. So you can see in 3D view, this section box is visible. So this is the difference between section box and a 
score blocks so now i am going to my level one and now suppose i want to send the front part resistance areas and i want to separate this so i am going to my view tab here and i am going to select this scope box and i will start from here and i want this is the reception area and front staircase i am going to draw here my scope box and you can see this is visible all well, these arrows from all the sides you can control the length width like this and next i am going to draw the rear part here or you can draw center part and i am going to select this scope box here and now i am going to rename this as a reception wing a so now this is our reception wing a and now i am going again and i will select this section scope box here and i will draw the next scope box from rear part here and now i will rename this as a back side b and click apply here so now i have created two wings so that we can create in parts so if you go to your 3d view here you can see now the scope box is visible here in 3d view and now the you can control this height because it is not up to this uh, staircase level that is mounty level so i am going to increase this from 3d view and increase So now uh, all the scope boxes are visible in our 3D view. So what is the use next? So I am going to my level 1 here and I am going to my properties palette here and I will come down here and I will look for scope box. So you can see this scope box is located here and it is selected none. So we have to select uh, what are the a scope box we want to view so suppose i want reception wing a front part i am going to apply and you can uh, see this is the front part it is separated from other and i am going to turn off all these uh, text layer here and i want only dimensions like this so you can see it is clearly separated from this and you can hide your this scope box you can right click by after selecting and you can go hide in view and you can hide your scope box so now i am going to my 3d view here and now in 3d view also you have to activate your scope box so i am going to again properties here i want this to be in my 3d view also so I am going to select this scope box and I will go for reception wing A I will click, click apply and you can see this uh, reception wing A scope box is visible here and we can see our buildings in parts in 3D view also. So this is the basic understanding so suppose if there is any confusion on the side so you can get it clear. So uh, you can also hide your scope box by selecting it and you can hide in view so you can hide it by category you can also select this and after this you can uh, rename this as 3d and you can save this and you can take print out also suppose i am going to rename this as reception wing a here so now if you want to go to your default 3d view it is saved here as a reception wing a so, uh, so if you will be asking that where is my default 3d view you can simply click this default 3d view and you are back to your default 3d view so now if you again click this reception wing a here 
you can look that your this reception being a part a 3d view is still there so there should be no any confusion so uh, likewise you can create reception being p so after creating this kind of part you can take print out and you can create a sheet also if you want to send it to the site so suppose if i am going to my sheet here and you can see i have created this parts here in plan view it is active in my uh, view sheets also so scope box can be used in multiple views like sheets 3d views and plan views elevation views also and suppose i want to take the print of that uh, 3d parts also reception wing a so i will go to my reception wing a and i will drag directly draw drag and drop here and i will control this scale here so i will go to my reception wing a and i will just control the scale this one by 8 inch i am going to select 3 by 16 inch put to 1 feet so i will go to then sorry it's a bit more scale here so i am going to again 1 by 8 inches and i will do this so now it is okay scale is all right so likewise you can create sheets and send to your sites or contractors or you can have this part wise revision of the drawings anything if you require to create uh, wings in your large set of drawings suppose if you are working on large projects like commercial offices or you are working in some campus planning you can use this scope boxes so this is very useful in Revit architecture. So hope you have liked this tutorial and all your confusion uh, is cleared here. So please like, share and subscribe my channel. In the next tutorial, I, uh, I will come with some more interesting topics in Revit. So bye bye.